Welcome friends, welcome back to the kitchen. Welcome back to Cocktails After Dark. Today we're going to do another cocktail out of this, the Savoy cocktail book. Um, this is from 1930, written by Harry Craddock. Um, this is a sought after cocktail book. It's sort of the holy grail for a lot of people. And it contains a lot of recipes for ingredients that you can no longer find or are difficult to find. And continuing with this theme, we're going to do another cocktail this week called the Beer Cocktail. Not to be confused with the beer special cocktail that we did a couple of weeks ago. And the main ingredient in the beer cocktail is, of course, beer. Um, this is a cankina, uh, which is just a quinine-infused wine. There are really only two of them still available uh, if you live outside the United States. That would be this and Dubonnet. If you live inside the United States, the only one that you're going to find is the, uh, is the beer, because the Dubonnet no longer contains the main ingredient which is the uh, chinchona bark. Lille used to have chinchona bark, but it no longer does. Now, the last ingredient that I'm using is this, the Carpano Bianco. The recipe actually calls for French vermouth, which in 1930, when this book was written, would have meant a white dry vermouth. Um, I'm using the Bianco because I like the flavor, just that extra little touch of sweetness, and it's still white. So, gets a really good shake. Okay, so I've got a couple of coops iced down. And we will double strain. And there you have the beer cocktail not to be confused with the beer special cocktail that we had a couple of weeks ago. Not the same. Hey friends, hey Glenn. Okay, so. But um, still containing beer. It still contains beer. Which, um, which is quite a fascinating beverage because it's got a lot of flavor to it, but you wouldn't drink it straight up in any way. No, I don't think so, but no. it is super complicated. Even when, um, if you check out that last video, we tasted it. Mm -hmm. And it was super complex and it was almost one of those things that you could maybe, maybe with just some uh, soda water. To cut it a little bit? Maybe. I would need a little bit of sugar. Yeah. Like a little something sweet to go with it, too. So this is the beer cocktail. Um, beer, Canada Club, and vermouth. That's pretty good. Yeah. That's very light. It's a very light yeah. drink. Just a little bit of, just a little bit of the rye. So it called for Canadian Club. And I used Canadian Club, but I don't know that 100% rye Canadian Club would have been available in 1930. It probably would have been a small amount of rye mixed with the other things that they use in the regular. Um, that is very light and refreshing. It is. It is. It's lovely. <laughs> for me, I, 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 I did use the Bianco, and it has a little. It is a little more sweet than white French vermouth. I think that fits perfectly. I, I for me, it fits, fits perfectly. In, yeah. yeah. And that's the thing. So you have to tailor your cocktail for what you want it to taste like. Make it your own. Thanks for stopping by. See you again soon. Yeah, it's kind of nice.